Okay team, Saldo mixing my starter. So in here we've got starter that's already been feeding for seven days. So you can see how bubbly it is. It's all bubbly. Cool. So I usually use a big AG jar, otherwise when it foams over, um, you don't want any mess. So and I've got my scale. I don't know if you've got one of those, but get one of those. Power on. So this is feeding the starter. I'll usually grab another jar, weigh it up, and then zero out the scale with the jar on it, so that's all good. So zero, and then get your starter from the day before. So I haven't taken anything out at this point. And basically just tip in 200 grams of starter. The goodness that is the, the growing the growing thing. So this is your, your key ingredient every day. Well, when you bake. And if you don't bake, um, follow the video, but leave it in the fridge for up to eight days or more. After that time, it, it starts going off. And you need to remake it. So there you go, there's 200 grams. Cool. 200 grams and the rest is simply going down the sink. <laughs> so, so I usually just swap jars out. And fill that jar up. I'll deal with that in a minute. Cool. Then grab your flour and zero it out again. And away you go. 200 grams of flour. And this can be any flour, but I stick with usually stone ground. So 200 grams. Be as accurate as you can. A bit much. Cool, 200, thereabouts, 201, that's okay. All right, flour aside. And grab my bowl. Run some warm water. Just tap it. And I've got 201 grams on the scale at the moment, so that's how much flour I put in. Now I'm just gonna go with water now up to 400 so that's another 200 grams of water so up to 400 close 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 yep, boom 401 that'll loop. one gram's not going to break the bank cool that's done Cast aside that. Usually grab a stirrer of some sort. That's the one I use. I've got one of those, which is it's nice and handy to get right in. I'll show you the other one later. Here we go. Now just mix it up. You can see how gluggy it's going. Give it a good mix. Mixy, mixy. Try and get it all in. A little bit of yeast or bacteria from your fingers is a good thing. As long as you don't get COVID in there. All good. Give it a good mix. And that's, this is every day you need, every day you feed you, you, this is how you do it. Every day you feed it. Unless you've got it in the fridge for up to eight days. Take it out the night before when you're ready to bake. But otherwise, that's a feeding session. <laughs> All right, cool. And you end up with about that much. So there's about 600 grams of, of starter there. That's good. Cool. Plate under it in case it bubbles over. In a few weeks, tea towel. Boom, into the cupboard. That's good to go till this time tomorrow. Or if we're gonna to bake with it, it'll be ready to bake in the morning. See ya.